citizen of Colorado who recently got a ticket for marijuana and like he's not going through many like trial and tribulations because marijuana is still on the schedule one class list of drugs. And like as y'all know that as y'all know marijuana was um, recently legalized um, this past election in Mar in Colorado and Washington, Amendment 64 in Colorado and Initiative 105 in Washington. And that even though it is um, it is legalized in those two states. Um, under federal law, it is still illegal. And right now, federal government is, is deciding whether to impose federal law on Colorado and Washington or to respect the state laws. And the conflict there is that if the federal government imposes federal law, then there will be many consequences. And one of the biggest consequences is voter disenfranchisement. But today, I'm here to tell you that there's a solution to this problem. And the solution is is um, Bill HR 6606. And Bill HR 6606, which was introduced to Congress two weeks ago, is basically a bill that, that states that federal government has to respect state laws on marijuana and not impose federal law. So today, I'm here to argue for you guys to vote for Bill HR 6606, and then there I'll now argue for three main reasons. First, I'll argue that Bill that the federal government federal law will, will disenfranchise voters. And second, I'll argue that Bill um, HR 6606 will eliminate the possibility of voter disenfranchisement. And third, I'll, I'll argue that Bill 6606, if passed, will not cause children to get a hold of, get a hold of marijuana. So first, what is voter disenfranchisement? Well, voter disenfranchisement, meaning um, Disenfranchisement means rendering a voter's vote ineffective. So basically, if federal law passed, if federal government passed federal law, then it would make the voters who voted for amendments um, 64 and, initi and initiative 105 in Colorado, and Washington, they feel that their voice is not heard and that, and that their opinion is not acted upon, and that that's the conflict. And marijuana right now. Yeah, under um, federal law, is illegal and it's under the schedule, schedule one class list of drugs, along with heroin and MDMA, and that, and that, um, and that for uh, if convicted for possession or distributing, there there will be severe consequences, and that for first-time offenders, punishments include um, tickets and jail time, and for repeat offenders. There, the consequences are more severe in that there would be a longer jail time. So, um, Bill HR 6606 would be the solution to this problem in that, in that it would um, allow the, the state laws to be enacted without federal government coming in to enact the federal law, which would respect um, the citizens and and states' rights, which is also the, another name for the bill, Respect Citizens and States' Rights Act. So, um, HR 6606, it was introduced to Congress by a Colorado representative, Diana DeGette, two weeks ago, and, and that bill, HR 6606, also has other sponsors, including Mike Hoffman, Stephen Cohen, Earl Blumener, um, Barbara Lee, Sam Parr, Ron, Ron, um, Ron Paul, and Barney Frank, and that Mike Hoffman, who's a representative, representative of Colorado, has been um, um, quoted as saying, I, I, I voted against Amendment 64, and I, and I strongly oppose the uh, legalization of marijuana, but I have a duty, and I'm obligated to, um, to voice the opinion of the people, and that the opinion of the people is that, uh, Marijuana should be legalized, and so I support the legislature, HR 6606. So Bill 6, HR 6606 would eliminate the possibility of voter disenfranchisement in that it would allow the the state laws to be enacted upon without federal government um, interference. So um, HR 6606. Would also, if passed, it would also um, not allow children to get a hold of get a hold of marijuana. And that the, one of the biggest arguments against the legalization of marijuana is that children will be able to get a hold of marijuana. And that 
uh, one of the biggest opponents, John Hickey Luther, who's the Colorado governor, has been has been said saying that he strongly opposed um, Amendment 64 and that because it would it would allow children easier access to marijuana and that it would make Colorado uh, a not healthier state. But um, HR 6606 would allow the states to create their own marijuana laws in that right now in Washington and, and um, Colorado, marijuana is now legal for people 21 and over to, to use it recreationally and it could be bought and that they could carry up to an ounce of marijuana and grow up to six plants. So the marijuana laws are really no different than the alcohol laws in that both they would have to be 21 to use and to, to um, buy. But that alcohol is, is a more dangerous is a more dangerous drug, and that alcohol promotes violence and aggressiveness, while marijuana promotes calmness and relaxation. And according to the Huffington Post, about seventy percent of drug-related deaths um, have included alcohol, and less than nine percent of drug-related deaths have involved marijuana. So marijuana is a far safer drug than alcohol. So if children if children do obtain marijuana, it would be illegally and they would be prosecuted, they would be prosecuted and convicted. Just like they would if caught with um, alcohol. And that another big issue is driving under the influence which of marijuana, which is which right now is also being um, a solution to that is is um, blood tests and blood drug, blood drug testing, and and those are like the the two main the two main um, arguments against the legalization of marijuana. And so in this speech, I argued why why um, voters should vote for Bill HR 6606, and that it is a solution to the state federal conflict on marijuana. First, I argued that. Federal law disenfranchises voters. Second, I argue that the solution to this is HR bills, Bill HR 6606, which would eliminate the possibility of voter disenfranchisement. And third, I argue that Bill HR 660, if passed, would not cause children to get a hold of marijuana. So, if um, if this bill was passed and if Joanne was called marijuana, then she would not. She would not be be like going through all the trials and tribulations because marijuana would be would be legal under state law in Colorado and Washington. So federal government and federal law federal law would not be effect, effective in those in those two states. And and voter disenfranchisement, voter disenfranchisement would not be present, and the possibility of it would not occur. And the the um, the voice of the opinion will, will be heard. Thank you.